So let's take a look at how we refine the terrain, the topography that we're creating for Wolf Quest 3. Here we have Amethyst Mountain, the new map, uh, much, much bigger than before. The old map is just this area right here. The new map is much bigger, seven by seven kilometers. So it's uh, 49 square kilometers in size. Gonna be amazing. Um, so we've got now the basic terrain here that we've created using digital elevation data. So if you zoom in close here, we can look at this. Uh, here's a, a cube, that cube is one meter in size. And so you can see, you know, you've got the topography, but it's very uh, averaged out. It's just these smooth sl slopes and surfaces. And uh, the real terrain is, is much more rugged than that, especially on these cliffs here, but really everywhere throughout the, throughout the environment. So we're using a tool called World Creator to refine this map and add some more natural topography to it. Here you can see these filters, and these use um, algorithms, mathematical rules, um, that modify the terrain based on these natural phenomenon of uh, how, how weather and water and, uh, um, and other natural forces transform the terrain. Um, so you can choose one of these filters and, uh, and tweak some settings and uh, apply it and see what the terrain looks like. So these are pretty cool. Um, so we're going to try a couple of these. So let's start with um, cross hills. So we're going to do cross hills. I'm just going to start with um, some basic settings. Hmm, that is a pretty big change. <laughs> that kind of transformed the whole thing. Maybe that's a little much. Um, maybe that's what it's going to look like in uh, a million years or so with a lot more erosion. That's really more than we want here. So we're going to dial that back. So this is a step, this is an improvement. We've added some, um, some hills, some cross hills that give more definition and show more uh, basically ruggedness in some of those uh, ridges, kind of mini ridges that cut down the slopes of the cliffs here. Um, so we knew that there was stuff like this from the satellite image, but now having been out there in September and seeing what it looks like, these ridges are really a bit too skinny. Uh, what we saw was much more kind of rounded bulges of the on the cliffs of the basalt that hadn't eroded and then the the gullies and the, the eroded areas within that so i'm going to try another filter um, to round those out this is a, a hills filter um, but it should help counterbalance the sharpness of those ridges let's take a look yeah that's much better now so now you have these kind of sub ridges going down the the cliffs but they're not as narrow they're more rounded like what we saw out there especially these these actually look a lot like what we saw out there um, so now we have look at that that's pretty cool we have a much more uh, rugged set of cliffs here and that's much more like what we saw both when we uh, were out in the lamar valley as well as hiking up on specimen ridge um, and even over here on the other side, there's some uh, roughness here. It's not just a totally smooth thing. And we certainly saw that when we were hiking up there, that you had these broad, smooth areas, but also some rugged stuff as you were going up a bit on the steeper slopes. And of course, this applies not just to the cliffs that we know and love from Wolf Quest 2.7, but going further up the slopes towards uh, the summit of Amethyst Mountain. So this looks much, much better, I think. Of course, with this single uh, texture, ground texture applied across the whole map, it still doesn't look like we want it to look in the game. We're building this up layer by layer. So first we start with the satellite data and the height map, the elevation data, and uh, then we refine that. And then the next step will be working on the ground cover, the, um, the textures that cover the terrain. And then after that, we'll work on the grasses and the trees. And so it's about a, six or seven or really when you get into the details 15 or 20 step process to build up from a flat terrain up to the the fully realized environments that we want to have in wolf quest 3 but we have to take it one step at a time and get each one looking good and then we build on that um, with the next step and uh, so we'll be showing that in future videos so stay tuned mm -hmm.